Hi everyone and welcome to Home Reno Collectibles where today I'm going to be doing a very highly requested viewer review and it is going to be the Series 6 Toy Biz Marvel Legends Deadpool. And the reason I wanted to review this is because then uh, my Marvel Select and then this Hasbro guy right here and the Toy Biz one will have all have had their own individual reviews on my channel and the links will be in the description for the other two guys as well so that you can see all of your choices as to which Deadpool you really want, especially when you watch the new review that I post of the newer one so that you can really see which is the definitive version of Deadpool. So before we take a look at the figure itself, let's have a look at what accessories this guy comes with. So he comes with a comic book, which I do not own. Uh, he comes with a Toy Biz flight stand. So you have your couple of adjustable points right there and he has a person his back that you can put that in. He also comes with Dupe right down here. So we actually get another character with the uh, figure, which is really, really nice. Dupe has uh, some articulation in the arms right there. And if you really squeeze it in, you can put that in there, but it's not really meant for it. The hole is a little bit smaller than the peg on the stand. So it's not really made for it, but you can get it in there if you really want to. And Deadpool also comes with an interchangeable head right here. So taking a closer look at that, it's got so much uh, molded in and painted detail right there. He looks like he has kind of bloodshot brown eyes. And it's enough to turn this cute little Deadpool down here playing with a toy into a really crazy guy that you really don't want to mess with. Deadpool also comes with a pistol. It's not really all that much paint detail. It's just got that little bit of silver right there, but it is done nicely. It's the same one that we get with various iterations of the Punisher over the Toy Biz years, and that fits into a little holster right there. The grenades are not removable. He does come with two Psy right here. Now the hand is in a trigger finger pose, but we have the hinge, so he doesn't really hold onto the size very well at all. He comes with two swords right here, which fit into the sheaths very nicely and they do look pretty good. These ones here are kind of warped as you can see. And then we also have two machine guns which do clip in to that hole right there. And they look very, very nice. You've got to be careful with these. This one's nice and straight, but sometimes they can be really, really warped and wonky. So just as a comparison, uh, Deadpool stands just over six and a quarter inches tall. So he's just about a quarter of an inch smaller than the majority of modern Marvel Legends. Now this Red Pool, which is the, uh, you know, code name for the Red Hasbro version of Deadpool, he's kind of hunched over here a little bit. But as you can see, he's a little bit taller. Uh, I definitely think that this guy's better than this one. I love the head sculpt on this guy. I think that just not having some proper ankle pivot right down there I just and how narrow his feet are I just find it hard to stand this guy all the time and that's the only thing I really don't like about him I like everything else to do with the articulation really he comes with a pistol he comes with two swords he comes with a machine gun which you can see over here with the x-force one uh, but I really do think that this guy looks much better. Now you can get them both uh, really, really easy. There's uh, cheap ones from China on eBay, uh, but they are done exactly the same. In fact, Glenn Webb did a video where he actually uh, did a sort of comparison of them, and you can see that there's basically no difference. You can't tell which one's the knockoff. But I would definitely recommend that you pick this guy up in this color scheme, because I just think that those red eyes and the X on the chest right there, the silver gun, I just really, really dig this look for Deadpool, and there's the machine gun that you get. If you're into a bigger scale, obviously Marvel Select is the way to go. These two are the more classic style suits. This guy comes with some great accessories too, you know, two pistols, a couple of side, a couple of swords and a machine gun. He comes with a base. But obviously it's not really a comparison for Marvel Legends figure because it is completely a different scale. And I do think that it is a better looking Deadpool than this guy just because like the shoulders on this guy and everything don't really look all that great. And also, honestly, the paint it's not fantastic. Um, this guy is not known for having fantastic uh, paint. As you can see, the red fades, the black definitely fades. Um, it just, the, the lines are usually quite off. Uh, as you can see, the black comes further over this way than this way. Really, it should be centered a bit more over to his right or your left when you're looking at it. You can see the belt's not painted perfectly right there. Uh, and the, the list goes on and on, but he does have some nice shading on there, and I have three, so obviously some bits are better than, on uh, certain parts of the figure than others. I think it's pretty unanimous around uh, Marvel Legends collectors that it just kind of sucks with those big boulder shoulders, and it always has done. There's a silver surfer that uses it, there's an ice man that uses it and stuff, and it just doesn't look all that great. But I always prefer articulation over looks. As long as it's meaningful, and this is, because we can get these really nice butterfly joints that come out to the side. Would have been really cool if they go forward and back, but never mind. Uh, so we have these shoulders that come 
out as well on that hinge, and then they can go all the way around. Rotation at the bicep, double jointed elbows, rotation there at the forearm, and then a hinge at the uh, wrist there, and also at the fingers. The head is on a ball joint, obviously, you saw me take it off, and then you got the hinge as well. We have a really nice ab crunch, which does not get hindered by the uh, harness because it is soft, movable plastic. Just be careful because it can snap very easily at those two points. You have the waist rotation as well, the hips that come all the way out to the side, forward and back, I'm just being careful not to drop the side right here, but uh, we also have rotation at the hip, double jointed knees, rotation here down at the uh, bottom part of the calf, and then also the hinged foot that moves up and down, and then also a hinge at the toes. You don't get ankle pivot with this guy, but it doesn't really need it to be honest. I find that posing this guy is really, really easy as opposed to that uh, Hasbro one because, I well, I don't really know, but this guy just doesn't seem back heavy at all, but that one just does for some reason. So I 100% recommend that you go ahead and pick this figure up if you like the accessories that it comes with, if you have the money for it, and if you're into Toy Biz Marvel Legends. If you're just collecting newer Legends and you only really need or want one Deadpool, then just go ahead and get the new one, which I will be reviewing very soon, so stay tuned to the channel for that. I'm just waiting on it from Kapow Toys. So, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. Like I said, the review for the other Deadpools I've shown in this video will be in the description below, along with a link there to my Instagram if you want to check out more pictures from my collection and for more Marvel Legends reviews go ahead and subscribe so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time